What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here, so in today's video we're going to discuss some interesting news about the iOS 9.3.5 downgrade and uh, this news have been posted by iDownloadBlog and you have been floating my Twitter account with this link and you have been asking me whether it's fake or not or whether it's uh, something that can help in the future or not. So apparently according to iDownloadBlog a couple of guys in here uh, from Twitter started to work at a project that was able to get them from iOS 9.3.5 back to any iOS 9 firmware being at 9.2, 9.1, 9.0.2 and so on. Uh, and uh, that is of course without having a jailbreak, without having a, an exploit for the bootroom. So it's actually based, uh, from what I can understand, is based on a flaw on how the iPhone restores the, um, the device. Of course there are a lot of them and if you watch on my uh, playlist you can see there are a lot of bugs in the restore process. And apparently the, the problem in here is that it requires you to have your blobs saved. This will probably be released or not in the future, I do not know. For the moment there isn't uh, a lot of data about it and it was posted uh, yesterday, so yeah, we still need to receive some information about this. But apparently it is actually a method that involves Kloader at some point. Kloader, you probably know, it's widely used in the downgrading processes and um, it actually uses the saved SHSH blobs in order to get to the specific firmware you want to download to. But here is the problem, some of the devices have iOS 10, so if you're on iOS 10 already, you wouldn't be able to use this. And about the SHSH blobs, if you do not know what these are, you probably do not have them saved already. But if you do know, and if you have been saving your iOS 9.3.4, 9.3.3, 9.3.2, 9 and any of these blobs, using a tool, then you will probably be able to use this method. Now before you get very hyped, this is not going to be very very useful for those of you who didn't save your blobs, in fact it will be completely useless for those who didn't save the blobs, but it will be very very useful for those who did. And uh, that's because you have the ability, if you save for example the blob of the iOS 9.3.4, and you're still on iOS 9.3.5, you will be able to go back to 9.3.4 and jailbreak using Home Depot. And uh, that is supporting the iOS 9.2 to 9.3.4 on 32-bit devices. Now this method for downgrading apparently will only be supporting 32-bit devices. That's not a problem because for 64-bit devices you have Future Restore by Teamstar, which is way better in terms of the fact that it's way stable, way more stable, and the blobs are already saved by most of you because it was announced a while back when the iOS 9 sorry when the iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1 were still signed so yeah but anyways for the 64 bit devices you have future restore but now apparently it's rising a new tool for the iOS 9.x devices now a lot of the devices from the 32 bit series cannot even update the iOS 10 and that's something very good because it means you're still on iOS 9.3.5, because if you're on iOS 10, you cannot do this, unfortunately. And the iPad 2, the iPhone uh, 4S, I think the iPad mini, some of the iPhone 5 devices could be on iOS 9.3.5, although they can update. But anyways, it is pretty interesting. I really wanted to discuss this with you. I do not know if it's going to be concluded with a tool. It's just some news, some great news that I download blog posted, and some of you were floating my Twitter about. And uh, yeah, it's going to be probably something real, it's going to be probably something very interesting, but if you do not have your blobs, probably it's not going to be very useful for you. But if you do have your blobs, probably it's going to be the time to use them. I'm going to keep you updated if anything changes, if any tool gets released, so keep an eye on that thing. Till the next time, I'm Geo Snow. peace out.